हाय एवरीवन राधे राधे सो द लास्ट फ्यू डेज हैव बीन वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी um they have th- there was this financial thing that i got entangled in and i was starting to feel like i mean something happened a few weeks ago and so usually i'm very strong in this like absolute belief that god loves me so much and he's just like even when i didn't believe him in when i was an atheist and uh, now is spe- like even now for sure um but today i had this like in the morning i just felt so much like god had forsaken me kind of feeling and i think that's one of the big things that a lot of people feel um that god has forsaken them when things are going bad and i just the last few days i just kept chanting i didn't do it on the beads or um you know do rounds like that but i just kept chanting and i just kept praying and i just kept asking for help and um I I did that today as well in the morning even though I was feeling forsaken and I was feeling so so hopeless about the situation and um then I don't know what happened like within within 15 minutes or something just things started rolling and things shifted like everything just shifted in a way that I would not have expected at all things just worked i mean <laughs> from two different places things just worked and then yesterday also something worked in a in a completely different way which i mean it it felt like god took away but then he gave back and it it feels totally miraculous to me that um <laughs> that that happened um so i i, I don't know um what i'm trying to get at is god is there for us even if we feel just completely hopeless god is there for us and we just need to trust that it's going to work out at some point in some way or the other and keep chanting and praying like i i chant of course the hari krishna maha mantra which is um in case anybody doesn't know it's hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari and i i just did that so <laughs> it, it it was incredible it was absolutely miraculous the way <laughs> two different one yesterday and then two today like the way things just worked out um it was very quick turnaround <laughs> it's just a few days anyways who are going to do today um bhagavad gita chapter 1 verse 24 and it's a pretty simple verse the third section of the verse is exactly the same as the third section uh, was it the third section or one of the sections of verse 21 um so basically uh, okay so we've gone back from arjun avacha so last time arjun had said can you please take the um chariot in between the both the armies and i want to see all those people who are there ready to fight and uh, i want to see the evil minded duryodhan and then that there was that weird line last time which i didn't understand like some something well wisher i haven't figured that out yet <laughs> i'm i'm going to when i get uh, catch up so i've i've learned up to verse 20 which is great so uh, including today now i'll be four verses i'll just need to catch up with four verses um so that's fantastic um uh, super super happy okay so um so yeah so this so arjun had said that at that time it was arjun avacha and he had said to um uh, krishna can you please bring the chariot in the middle and this one it goes back to sanjay avacha and um uh, this one basically says that krishna did bring the chariot over so sanjay avacha okay so let me play the thing i forgot to play <laughs> um i hope the sound was okay last time i think it picks up the my sound better than it picks up the the music sound so that's why my sound kind of overshadows it i when i'm playing it this sound feels very very strong and i'm barely he- able to hear my own voice but then when i hear it back from the audio it's it feels the other way around like that i'm not able to <laughs> hear their um uh, the background sound and it's only my voice that's too loud a little too loud but anyways hopefully it'll work out or hopefully it it's okay anyways um okay so let's play jayavacha eva mukto rishikesho gudakeshena bharata 
सेनोर्भ्ये स्थापयेतम it is so it's easier for me now i don't have to play it 20 to 30 times now before i can get it i've started to get it like it started to become easier for me to be able to sing along now i do it i play it maybe four or five times and i sing along four or five times before i'm able to sing it like you know perfectly i don't remember it in four or five times but i can sing it at least and that or that was not the case earlier <laughs> far from it i had to play it 20 times or 30 times before i was able to even just sing it let alone remember it okay <sighs> so eva mukto rishikesh eva means thus ukta uh, addressed rishikesh we've heard lord uh, who's krishna the lord of the senses so thus addressed when thus addressed krishna and so then guda keshen bharat guda keshen is a name for arjun now good is uh, um, the it's a form of ja- it's jaggery yeah, that's what it's called it's a form of sugar in india which is supposed to be very delicious so i don't know why he he explained it here as to why arjun's name is guda keshen and uh, it's me- one of the meanings is that somebody who has conquered sleep um so i that's all i understand from there so guda keshen bharata bharata is o descendant of bharat so this is sanjay speaking to dhritarashtra again and dhritarashtra is a descendant of bharat and so is pandu since they are brothers so um so then uh, sanjay is saying uh, o king o descendant of bharat um arju uh, thus addressed thus addressed by arjun krishna then and then the next part senayor ubhayor madhye so this is the exact same line as in verse 21 he saying sena in sena is the army so uh, senayor and ubhayor both and madhye madhya is middle so in the middle of both armies so thus addressed by arjun o king thus addressed by arjun krishna then uh, sthapa yetva rathottamam so this is also in verse 21 it was just a different grammatical variation of the same thing but sthapa yetva sthapa yet sthap sthapit like is to to place so and rath is a chariot we saw that again in 21 so um krishna so thus addressed o king thus addressed thus addressed by arjun krishna then placed the chariot in between both armies that's uh, the verse thus addressed um thus addressed o king <laughs> thus addressed by arjun krishna then placed bo- the chariot in between both armies that's it that it's a pretty um simple verse um yeah i think that's it okay so we are going to do verse 25 next time i'm still very nervous to say tomorrow i know it's going to be tomorrow i want to say tomorrow but my commitment is only that i'm going to do one verse per video and i'm going to upload all 700 verses and my commitment is not that i'm going to do it one every day although i've been i've have a very very strong intention to do it so i have been doing it so far i've not missed a day um so i've i've uploaded 25 videos in a day which i'm very very happy about um but i'm not committing to it so i don't yeah um I, so i'll say next time i'll not say tomorrow but we know it's going to be tomorrow <laughs> um so yes we're going to do verse 25 tomorrow and hopefully i'm i'm really really hoping by tomorrow i'm going to learn all 25 verse all 24 verses um so well that if you just n- give me a number between 1 to 24 i'll be able to tell you the verse <laughs> i might have to think about it i'm not at the place where i don't have to think about it at all but if i think about it i'll be able to tell you without looking any and i will be able to tell you by number like verse 22 that's the verse verse t- 11 that's the verse oh it's going to be I, i but i want to spend the day tomorrow practicing this that would be amazing okay have a beautiful day 
wish you, um, yeah, <laughs> um, bye, <laughs>